News HealthWise with Karen McKay. It's estimated that 7 million couples struggle with infertility, and in about half the cases, the problem is at least partly coming from the man. That should be reason enough for the man to provide a semen sample for testing, but that's where the effort stops for some men who can't or just won't do that. Well, now there is a new invention that could change that for millions of couples. And the idea started with a question from a professor to a student at the Texas Tech Health Sciences Center. Simple question of why. I said, why do we collect semen samples the way we do? We still use the same technology we were using 30 years ago, which is a specimen cup that looks like this right here, but that that is designed for urine that was never designed to hold a semen sample. And that became the thesis for Dusty Johnson, a graduate student who began to redesign the cup based on what she had learned from her professor, Dr. Samuel Preen. Human semen sample would just barely cover the bottom of this and that allows it to be exposed to not only the plastic, but it also dries out, it gets cold in a hurry. With some help from Dr. Lindsay Penrose, director of the lab, these three came up with a new kind of cup to store and save the semen in a healthier environment. It looks like a tiny little thermos. In many respects, it's been referred to as a Texas Tech Yeti. It's insulated like a Yeti with a funnel inside that allows the semen to collect together at the bottom instead of spreading across plastic where their time was limited. 30 minutes an hour, and this one may be as much as 48 hours or more. 48 hours, time enough for a man to collect his sample in the privacy of his own home. This is a, a game changer uh, for couples. John Smothers is a love of businessman who knew this was a revolutionary discovery because it was personal. It's a, a lot of stress to go through that process. In our case, it was seven years uh, before our first child. They had two, but John remembers the struggle he joined these three researchers in 2009, and a company, Reproductive Solutions, was born. And so began a decade of research on this new cup named Protex. Ironically, it was the pandemic that revealed the value of Protex, with more people staying at home. That's one of the, the things that COVID did help us prove to people, is that men can collect at home. They don't have to do it in the clinic. Even when home is somewhere in West Texas, that requires a long drive back to Lubbock, Protex keeps the sample safe. You know, people have said, do you think you'll get rich? And I'm going, I don't care. We're trying to change the world now, not in the future. My wife passed away from cancer four years ago, and I made her a promise. Uh, you would take this as far as it could go? Hmm. Uh, and you are. I am. Today, Texas Tech owns the patent. Medical clinics from New York to Los Angeles are encouraging men to use Protex at home. And the four Lubbock founders are shareholders as this growing company looks to go international.